Hey guys, welcome to King's Kitchen. I am Chef Sylvia Darcy and it is always my pleasure to cook along with you. Today I have something very exciting that will take most of us to our childhood days. Did I say childhood days? No. Even in adult, we enjoy doing something so fun. And one of it is what? Cracking banga. If you're from Cameroon, you know, you know, it is so delicious, especially the country banga. So if you're asking me, Sylvia, where did you get palm kennel in the united states that is a very interesting story that i'll be uploading the video on my blog but a follower of mine anyway thank you so much to everyone that is following me on all my social media platform facebook instagram visiting my website and also youtube if you haven't subscribed on my youtube channel please go ahead and do so so one of my very 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 big fan contacted me and said, Sylvia, oh, I was watching, uh, actually, I'm cooking banga soup, and I thought of you. I was like, oh, yeah, that is so kind. Can you send me some? As a matter of fact, I'm coming over to your house to eat because I'm hungry. And then she said, guess what? I am cooking banga soup using fresh palm nut, the real banga. I said, really? Where did you get that? So she connected me to the food distributor that... Um, sells the fresh banga i will share the video here and i also put the information of the food distributor so you can contact him if you're interested in getting yourself some fresh palm nut uh fruits to make banga soup so after um i bought the banga i came home and i couldn't wait to make banga soup so i started the process of extracting the palm nut juice and guess what it comes with some palm kernels and I was looking forward to cracking the banga. So today I'm going to crank banga because it takes me so much uh, back in memory. And even now, because little things like this goes a long way to, you know, take us back home and uh, uh, connect us to our roots, make us feel at home in a foreign land because we can still enjoy our local food, our local snacks. So come on, let's go over and crack some banga. Hey, see this one has twins inside. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me see if I can crack this one so that the other one does not break. I break it a little bit. Hey, see? Twins. The first one that I cracked, it has twins inside. Hmm. Okay. Let me crack another one. <laughs> this one, this one I'll probably have twins inside too. Oh no, this one has just one. <laughs> hey, I still have banga cracking skills, so they are not breaking. That's good. <laughs> Crack another one. You see all oh, the banga wa kaka so no one no broke when i see her. no one so no broke <laughs> i'll go wash them when i finish washing now say chop this stone is a treasure <laughs> well i don't see sorry i feel buying banga i get stone for cracker okay the next day i continue to crack the palm canal I don't want to finish everything in the same day because there's a tendency that I can do that. It is so delicious. I decided that I was going to crack just four or five a day. And I'm so proud of myself because I can still retain my banga cracking skills. As you can see, a lot of them that I cracked, it came out whole and not that much break. It is so delicious and is very, very crunchy. If you're living in the United States and especially in the Washington DC metropolitan area, and you're interested in getting fresh palm nut fruit, check the description box and there I've left the information for the food distributor. Get yourself some palm nut and check out my banga soup recipe and you will have some goody goodies such as the palm kernel at the end. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for our next video.